I'm going to show how I'm going to mix my master blend stuff. Um, so what I've got, uh, Epsom salt, which is a magnesium sulfate, master blend formula, and calcium nitrate, some gram scales. I got these scales really cheap on Amazon, but I think you can get them on eBay as well. The, the uh, 600 gram uh, scales that measured to a tenth of a gram was about six or seven dollars that's what they what it looks like and I did buy a calibration weight the uh, recommend the one that you have to use for this is a 500 gram weight and I calibrated it when I first got it and I've and I've checked it since then and it hasn't deviated from that so it's it's uh, it's really not a bad bad scale for the for the cost funnel filters to measure on spoons and I got three bottles of distilled water that I haven't used. I poured some of the water out to a cup so that I can mix the ingredients and I'll add the water back. So I've got, that's going to be a concentrated um, gallon of, of each of the ingredients. And what I, the, the target um, that I'm going for is, um, let me show you my notes. Uh, 2.4 grams of master blend, 1.2 grams magnesium sulfate, and 2.4 grams of calcium nitrate per gallon. And I want this to I want to be able to measure a half a cup from from each to mix one gallon of full strength. So I calculated the number of cups in a gallon is about 16, so that's 32 half cups. So I should yield 32 gallons. Um, so to get that for the 2.4 gram measurements I'll need 76.8 grams and for the 1.2 gram measurement I'll need 38.4. I'm going to measure my master blend. Yeah, let's turn this on. So what I want is 76.8 grams. Okay, so then I'll just mix that in there. So I'll, uh, when I get these all mixed, I'll pour the water in and level it off. So that should should be about right. I'll do the same for the calcium nitrate. So we're going for 76.8 again. There we go. Last we've got the magnesium sulfate, Epsom salt, and this one will go for 38.4 grams. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, filled these back up with water and shook them really well. And I don't see any sediment, so I think they're 
dissolved okay. So this should represent 32 gallons of full strength master blend mix. Um, but if I want to do like a half strength gallon, I can just instead of using half a cup, use a quarter of a cup. If I want to do a quarter strength gallon, use an eighth of a cup. So you can really scale this any way you want, even with the measurement you want to use, just factor in however many of those measurements will uh, go into a gallon and then and then work backwards from there to uh, determine how much mix you need. So, um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a full strength, a half strength, and a quarter strength. And then look at the, what the PPM meter reads. Okay, I'm going to start with the full strength. Uh, mixing order I'm going to use is master blend first, magnesium sulfate, and then the calcium nitrate. So um, I pre-filled the pre-filled these about halfway with water. So I should need just a half cup of each. Set my funnel down. And then this. After I mix this, I'm going to shake shake that up really well. Grab the calcium nitrate. that dissolved. Yep, so far there's nothing precipitating out. So looks like it's mixed fun. So I'll go ahead and top this off with water. And I'll do my half strength and quarter strength. And for the um, half strength, I'm going to use this quarter cup. And then halfway, there's, there's a marking here for an eighth of a cup, so I'll use that for the quarter strength. This is the quarter strength. Uh, let's see how strong it is. It takes it a few seconds to adjust to the water temp. It looks like it's between two and 300 ppm, which is what I expected. Okay. I'm sure I'll need to adjust the pH too, but okay, this is the half strength. Okay, looks like it's four hundred. Yeah, this is the full strength. Okay, so I guess it's going to be set at 700. I made some a little stronger than full strength. That's three quarters of a cup. Let's see what that comes out to. It's between 1,000 and 1,100. I'm going to write it down as 1050.
Hey, I wanted to share an easy way to convert units using Google. In this case, I wanted to find out how many cups were in a gallon. So type one gallon to cups and it'll give you the result. You can use it for pretty much anything. Google also has a nice calculator. Here I'm finding the number of grams of master blend to mix by multiplying the target amount per gallon times the number of half cups in a gallon gives me a result of 76.8 grams. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.